hi, it's Ha here for my final video to review The Square, directed by Ruben Ostlund. What are the biggest challenges in running a museum? We're a museum of modern and contemporary art, so we need to present art that is the art of today, art that is absolutely cutting edge, and the competition is fierce. <laughs> The Square is an absurdist satire on the contemporary art world and the seeming perfect Swedish Scandinavian life, starring Claes Bang, Elizabeth Moss, Dominic West and Terry Notary. The story follows Christian, played by Claes Bang, the chief curator at X World Museum in Stockholm. For instance, if we took your bag and placed it here, would that make it art? Ah. Uh. The first encounter between him and journalist Anne is incredibly awkward and is made even more so when her questions almost mock the greater meaning behind a lot of contemporary art, and especially the ones exhibited in his museum. The titular square is a work by artist slash sociologist Lola Arias, and she claims it to be a sanctuary of trust and caring. Within it, we all share equal rights and obligations. The square itself and its ethos is a main facilitator for a lot of the events in the film but doesn't form a core part of the story itself. The main focus is actually Christian, whose encounters along the way disrupts the neat perfection of his elitist existence. One of the overarching themes in the film addresses the wider elitism of the art world, which is evident through the functions that they hold for themselves, consisting of mostly upper middle class, rich white people. Well, it's time for us, and we've managed to make a fantastic buffet. Swamp-filled, roasted maiskykling. As a satire of the art world, its fragility is really shown in a scene where Terry Notary plays the performance artist Oleg. His performance is acting like an ape. dinner party scene. Without giving away too many spoilers, the film addresses how we need to suppress our primal carnal nature in order to maintain the social standard, but also that our apathy and indifference are more important to us than helping other people. The word help itself is brought up a lot in the film, especially when contrasting the state of homeless people and the sterility of the art world. Images of homeless people sleeping on the street cut away to the clean cut lines of the art gallery which almost shows that these two things are incompatible. The cinematography is very claustrophobic. The camera is static and it directs the audience's eye gaze towards the center focus point, with the main character never veering too far from that point. Music and sound play a big part in the film, with music adding a lot to the ambience of the scene. There's a contemporary rendition of Ave Maria by Bobby McFerrin, which is originally by Bach and Guno, which reflects the film's desire to challenge what is known or what is accepted. There's also a lot of humor in this film, from the satire to the awkward interactions between these characters, and also it's just its sheer self-awareness. The second half of the film is not as sharp as the first, and it tends to drag with its heavy focus on delivering a social message. However, the social message the satire and the highly stylized nature of this film means that there's almost too much to focus on at once and I leave the theatre not really knowing what the film was trying to address as a whole. Despite the somewhat incoherent mishmash of themes, I did leave the theatre feeling extremely entertained and evidenced by the fact that the whole theatre was laughing out loud which makes for a great communal experience. The film is highly ambitious, and I do feel that there is a huge lack of films that address the complacency of the art world or challenge what is accepted as the norm. 